November 30, 2018. Yes, indeed, it is 9.03 p.m. in my time zone. I don't know how what time it is in your time zone, but uh, I'm guessing an hour or two, one way or the other, if you're in the U.S. of A., anyhow. Anyway, welcome to the show. Uh, welcome to all of the people out there listening in all the various places they may be listening to. Uh, hang on, I gotta guess the... Sorry about that. <laughs> I felt it coming. I felt, I felt it coming. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Moose Girl. Hello, hello, hello. Why am I not hearing you? Oh, there you are. Oh, hello. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so, howdy, Moose. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm doing fine too. Doing fine. Just uh, been a, an interesting day, but um, I guess for you too. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's finish saying howdy and hi to all the people out all there, right. all the places, the Real Liberty dot org folk. Welcome to you over there. If you're tuned in on that site, if you're tuned in from Freedoms Network, hi there as well. Uh, you can't be tuned in on mine, but you may have seen the message. And uh, joined in in one place or the other. Uh, so uh, welcome to you on Minds.com. And if you found me on Twitter, or Barman on Twitter, I guess I should say, <laughs> come on over. Jump on in. The water is fine over here at RealLibertyMedia.com on the Freakers Ball show page. And you can get in the chat, talk to all the great folks that are here tonight. And we got a great group, as always. Yeah, we got the barman and the cowboy tech and myself and the mighty moose. Cowboy tech here on time. Something is wrong. Anyway, <laughs> we got Miss Kate. What? <laughs> Miss Kate and Asbo and Chelsea Donnie and Chloe and Chloe and Chloe and Chloe and Chloe the hippie. And we got DC and Free and Slave Hey Free. Goober and Graham Z. Uh, you still out there, Grammy? Uh, we got Don C again there. Another Don C. All right, we got Meester Brow and Pondergander and Puxified Puxaphone. Pone Sauce, the rain, the lovely rain, so I hear. Uh, we got the Fruit Pot. We got Rob Works and Rome's and Vinny. Vinny. He's see so easily. And we got Mr. Woodman in the Phantom and the Beat Doll. Colfax and the Cyborg Noodle and the Goading Frumpy Frumpster. <laughs> Gromit and Java Doctor and JJ's 999JJ's and Tozu and Mr. Sock Puppet and the Skittle Bot. Yes, wake up, box of fad. So that's everybody that's here in the chat. Like I said, there's other mm -hmm. people out there listening. Who knows where they are, but they're out there somewhere hanging out in the trees. It's probably too cold to be hanging out in the trees this time of year. Well, it depends on where you live. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, if you're down there in Australia or something. Then yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's summer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So, how are you doing? Well, I'm hanging in there. Yeah? Yep. Well, hanging in there is a good thing. It is. It's better than not. Now, i, I got to tell you about this thing that happened here to me today. Uh-oh. What? No, today? Today. Today. Right here. Today. Okay, right what here, happened? Live at my house. <laughs> uh oh, what happened, Grim? Well, I, I get up in the morning, you know, and I do various. I open my 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 email, daily bobs, and I open the yeah. browsers on the various computers, and I uh, anyway. So I'm I'm going through my email there, and uh, I get I got an uh, email from my sister. Oh, okay. Okay, and it's it's un, not uncommon, but it, it's not every day that right. she sends me an email. And so in the email, there was nothing in there. It just had my name, and said, and then there was a link. Huh. I clicked the link. Uh-oh. And the, the link to, it went to some page. Let me see. I, I wrote it down over here. Mm -hmm. it, went, it went to some page. Why every judge on Shark Tank backed this product from the United States. And I okay. Thought, Why the hell are you sending me this? Right. It's probably a spam email or something. Well, I, 
that would have been that would have been much easier. <laughs> well, well, what was it? it what was happened? Much, well, I, I, and I, and I'm not sure anything actually happened, but uh-huh. um, it took me uh, at, at, once I went and looked at the actual site uh, via my thing, and the reason I did that is I went back to to look at the email to to to, to, to send her a reply and say, what, what are you sending me here? What is this crap? The email was right. gone. The email was gone. The what? Email, the email had disappeared from my Thunderbird. Weird. It disappeared from my Thunderbird. And I went and looked okay. in the I, I went and looked in the trash emails and it was not there either. What? It was not there either. Weird. So I went back through the uh, history there on my browser and looked at it and it, it comes to this site uh Apple dot H U modules dot Stats best vouchers slash do log on slash slash passwords dot p wow passwords dot php question mark send equals in a in a string of numbers. Okay. So I thought to myself, well, this can't be good. No. <laughs> that anyway, cannot be good. So I I don't know that it actually did anything. Um, mm -hmm. However. Uh, out of an abundance of caution, I spent about six hours today changing passwords on various sites because I I assume what happens here is it probably grabbed all of my 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 passwords file from my Firefox, right, and sent it to whoever <laughs> whoever, whoever originated that email um, on on my sister's phone. I guess <laughs> I, I don't know what what she does her email. But uh, yeah, so um, and I come to find because some of the some of the passwords I've had set for years, right, right, and some of them not that long. But I come to find some sites are not very easy to find how to change your password or figure out how to change your password. No, and, and some sites just plain don't let you change your password. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, what the what the freak's going on with that? Um, Weird. So uh, yeah, I, I and and it looked like a legitimate link to me. I always check the the links in, in the Thunderbird that come in to to see you know uh, where where they're actually going, and it didn't yeah. it didn't list all that crap uh, that I just shared with you. So um, yeah, me too, uh, Cowboy Tech. So I you know I went through all the financial things first, went through the the, the Wells Fargo, the PayPal. Uh, uh, Amazon, eBay, anything that I could spend money or has money in it, I, I made sure those were changed immediately and first. Um, and and then I went through the social sites and uh, various other. I, I, I've got I don't know a list of a hundred different sites that I have saved saved passwords for. Now in Firefox, and I don't know if you know or not, but your your password file is is um, encrypted and protected. But it's yeah. not too hard to actually get around that either. There are programs out there to specifically to decrypt uh, <laughs> your, your those password files. Oh wow! And you can go you can go another level in 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 Firefox and do a a master password which doubly encrypts things. But anyway, so that, so that was fun. Like I said, it took me like six hours, and I still have more to do. Oh my god! Um, on that, and then yeah, so I'll. Uh, I haven't changed my email passwords yet because I, I don't really care um, <laughs> so much. On <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but but I will I will, I will get to those too. But uh, yeah, anyway, so that was my fun fun for the day. If you didn't see me chatting much there in the chat, it's because I was busy <laughs> changing passwords. <laughs> fun. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That sucks. That's a bummer. Yeah. I mean, hey, I, hey. I understand why you did it and all, you know. Yeah, like I said, I, I don't know, but out of my abundance of caution there, I said, yeah, I've, I've dealt with these stealing and thieving assholes before. And I, right. I, I don't want to. I, I don't like those people. <laughs> no, of course not. Well, and thanks, Cowboy Tech. I, I'm, uh, I appreciate your whatever support. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and yeah. so, how was your day? Oh, it was okay. I went and saw that dog. Yeah. 
and she's terrified. Yeah. She came from an animal hoarding situation. Right. I heard about it on the news, I don't know, three weeks ago. And now they're... The, some of the animals are up for adoption. Oh, well. But I think that she would come out of her shell and would be fine once she gets in a home situation because the kennel is a stressful place to be. Right, right. And when she went back into her kennel after our visit, she started chewing on a squeaky toy. So she's still got some spunk in her, you know? Right. So we'll see if they pick me. My application's approved, but they don't just necessarily just... They don't go by first come, first serve. Oh. They okay. kind of decide who they think is the best fit. So there was two other applications out there for her, and they're going to come look at her. Well, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what yeah. happens. No, it, it's good that you got so many people there looking for dogs. I mean, right. that you have to go through yeah. a process like that. Because, you know, here, you can go to the animal shelter and pick up a dog. Right, I mean... There ain't, there ain't no, you know, process. You don't pay them any money while you pay them uh, some for the, for the shop. This is the least amount of dogs I've seen there really? in a long time. I mean, it used to be full all the time. Oh, and now, good. lately, it hasn't been. Uh, that's very good, then. I, I like that. It is very good. I mean, but I... And I even looked at other counties, you know. Yeah. Nearby counties. Um... Because they have a better selection in other places sometimes because they get more dogs for whatever reason. Right, right. And um, this one came from Eau Claire, though. She, the hoarding situation was in Eau Claire. But oh. I feel bad. I just feel so bad for this dog. It's like she's terrified, you know? Yeah. And it's like, oh, my God. This, that dog needs to get out of that kennel. Right. You know, and being at home. You and, know. and you need a dog. You need a good companion there. And... I do, and she's a sweetheart. I mean, she she didn't make a peep, like, hardly at all. Like like I said, though, she'll come out of her cell, though. Yeah. I mean, Marty was kind of like that when we first got him. Right. He was really, really skittish and nervous and stuff like that. But he turned out to be an awesome dog, so... Oh, that's I mean, cool. That's cool. Yeah, if you... If you treat them right, they'll they'll come out of their shell and stuff. Eh, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, not always, but I mean, um, Ten killer. It's um, it's the dog's a year old, so she's she's young. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll see what happens. See if well, they that's good. Her. That's good. You know. Yeah. So, I mean, if I don't get her, I don't get her, but it would be cool. Hey, and if you do get her, you could find out where they took her brother and, and, and have her, and they get a play date set up. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm sure she'd like to see her brother. And I know the real her real name, I looked at the form. It's not Grace? No. Oh. Sadie. Well, why would they change it? I don't know why they would do that. I would just would assume that if you if someone rest or break you know surrenders a dog that they've already had for a while, yeah, they just keep the same name. That's what I thought they did. Yeah, it's crazy. Why? Like with Marty, they gave him a cat name, a black cat name. They gave, they made, named Marty a stupid name, so I we changed the name because they named him Onyx. Okay. Onyx is a, a cat name for a black cat. Right. And, and that my, is not a dog name. I mean, it might be a dog name for a black dog. Well. That, that name did not fit that dog. I'm just saying. Man, well, maybe they knew that, that he was going to your house. And <laughs> right. Onyx, Onyx is a type of stone. and, and, and <laughs> <laughs> Right. Maybe. I don't know. So it would be fitting for the household. Right. Yeah, he'll be fine. I have no idea, but we changed his name. I'm like, well, he was falling in a Walmart dumpster, so it's either Wally or Marty. <laughs> 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 Marty. All right, all right. Well, that's cool. 
So, yeah, no, I mean, if I get her, I get her. I mean, there's always going to be dogs and an other animals. I actually like this really cool cat that was there. He was just a, it was a male cat. He was about a year old, or 12 weeks old or something. Yeah. He was a sweet as pie, dude. Yeah, he cat, was really cool. Cat, uh, cat, I, cats are deceptive. You never know. Yeah, I know. He'll be nice and calm sitting there and then turn around. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I've I've dealt with a psycho cat before. It is no it is no fun at all. When they start hissing and growling, that they're not happy. <laughs> I know uh, no, of course, cats. of course, but a lot of cats, but, but but they can go from perfectly calm to to psycho and and yes, with like, no warning whatsoever. No warning at all. You know, <laughs> they just turn on you, and you're just like, what the hell? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But, no, this one seemed really mellow. I mean, he was cool as hell. He, right. I just felt so horrible for him. He just wanted to chill, you know? <laughs> sure, sure. That's the kind of cat I want. Yeah. All right, let's, anyway, let's hit some jams we'll here. What? What? What'd you say? I just said, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. You know, let's, let's, say, let's, hit some, let's hit some jams. All right. Kick this thing off proper. Alrighty. And uh, we'll be back after these. Have fun and enjoy. Yes, we will be back. Try not to sweat too much. Alright. Special guest, Joe Bottom Master. Thank you all. Good night. Ah, yeah, that was nice stuff there. Just Row Tall with Joe Bonamassa doing Locomotive Breath. Yeah, I love that. That's great stuff. Uh, before that, we had Godsmack doing Joe Walsh's Rocky Mountain Way. And we kicked it off with Megadeth and Sweating Bullets. Yep, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I think the people in Anchorage are doing just that. Sweating Bullets? Yeah. Well, they were. <laughs> uh, For a minute, I mean... Oh, because oh, oh, of the quake, the quake, that's yeah, right. I, I watched the uh, some footage from a courthouse or something, and that thing lasted a, a while. I mean, I thought they were pretty quick and slow, but this one seemed like a, it went a long time. Well, sometimes they do last a while. See, I've never experienced an earthquake. It, it, it all depends what's got to move, you know? <laughs> What? So it all depends on what's got to move. Right. Yeah. I There's no that. control over it or anything. I mean, um, lots of damage. It was a long-lasting one. It wasn't a small one. Right. It was, what, a 7? So, yeah, 7.0. Well, at first they said 6.6. I've seen anywhere from 6.6, but now it's a 7.0, so. Oh, okay, okay. But... Usually um, they they adjust them down. I don't I don't see them adjusting them up too much. It started at six point six. I thought I, I saw at one point, then I saw seven point oh. So I don't know. Oh okay okay. But it broke windows. It you know took down ceilings and um and and, and um I mean because there's not a lot of towns there so. Yeah, apparently there was one in the 60s, in 1964, it was pretty bad. Okay. Like, I watched a video of the, um, the one, the, the one that happened today, and then right after that they showed some footage from the one that happened in 64, and that was worse. It was a big one. Right. But the one that's the best video I thought was the one in the courthouse. But then there's that one of the the guy took a, a, his security cam caught the outside. But all you can see is his truck shaking. But um, I haven't heard much more about it. Apparently, it didn't do too much damage. Well, it did some damage, but I don't think those are fantastic. Fatalities. I'm not sure yet, but right. Anyway, that happened today. So okay, just uh, bringing it up. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, that's, that's quite the thing, there. I don't know if you want to play the video. I suppose people, can just, people probably already watched the video, so... <laughs> Bring it up here and see what we got. I don't even know if I can find it. <laughs> oh, I, I started looking at the headline here. And, uh, you, you know. <laughs> it says anarchy in it, right? Yeah. It I was saw that. anarchy. Like, no, it wasn't anarchy. It might have been chaos, but it wasn't anarchy. Right. I'm like, that was a bad choice of words. Well, know, that's normal for them, though. Earthquake, an earthquake article. Everything that was that's not tied down is broke. State of emergency, Anchor, Anchorage 7.0, earthquake leaves people running for cover. Yeah. Or maybe you want to run away from cover. Uh, anyway. Well, no, anyway. like some people went under a table because, like, the ceiling tiles and everything oh, were falling yeah. out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. You know. Uh, running for cover. Roads cracked and homes without power. 7.0. Yeah, there was. Yeah. Center. Sarah Palin's home got, they said, got torn apart. Oh, so. poor Sarah. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> how bad, but. <laughs> I almost... No, I don't feel bad for her. <laughs> right. But anyway... Uh, um, let's see. At least eight aftershocks ripped through the city, the largest one measuring 5.8. Uh, buildings were destroyed. Roads crumbled and collapsed. And residents ran under desks. Uh, Alaska Alaska averages 40,000 quakes per year. Wow. 40,000 per year. Oh, my God. I didn't know that many. <laughs> That's like over 10 a day. Anyway, oh. uh, <laughs> anyway, Weird. so, so uh, 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 wait, ten, wait a minute, three, six. I didn't know that. Uh, three. I didn't. That's a lot that's, of earthquakes. It's like a hundred a day. That's like anyway. That's, that's yeah. Like what the anyway. heck is that? Would be, but you don't hear about it because they must be just minor, right? Uh, White House and President Trump, who is Argentina for the G20 summit, said. Uh, he's been briefed on the quake. Alaska Governor Bill Walker has declared a state of emergency. No immediate deaths or injuries have been reported. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't want to get hit in the head with a ceiling tile, Hoover. It could fucking, you know, give you a headache or something. I yeah, mean, yeah, you know, I mean, a ceiling tile. You, you don't want to be under anything that's <laughs> falling down. You don't want something falling down on your head. Never know. No, you don't. No, you don't. What's gonna fall down? You know, you don't know how strong it's gonna be. I suppose. I All mean, right, let's 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 see the little video here. Okay. Who's hey, who's standing there with the camera? So you got you got some clown standing there with the camera, anyway, filming everybody. Okay, you're okay. What's, what's up with that? <laughs> Everybody, these people are hiding under, under the desk. This guy is walking around with his camera. Come on, show me yourself. Do a that selfie. That could be a totally fake video. Do, do, a, do a selfie. Come on, man. Yeah, that could be a totally fake video. Now that you say that, because... No, I don't know. You can see, like, the, the, the lamps rattling against the walls Right, first there. I thought it was... The security camera that they had in there. But no, it's moving around. So no, it's it, moving around. It's it's all, obviously, some, yeah. somebody's, somebody's, so it's not that. somebody's walking around with it. I oh my mean, God. Oh my God. Uh, it's pro that's probably a stage. I saw the rumble come through. There he is. We knew exactly what it was. We ran outside. Oh, okay. You know, the truck oh. shaking back and Maybe forth. Maybe it's not him. That's probably a security camera there. First time, yeah. yeah this, that is uh, a security was camera right there. That it one. felt like the ground was doing a dance. And so um, Chad said, let's get out of here. So we ran outside. And as I was running outside, I could see the truck moving. And then we got in the street, and you're doing this number. So, yeah, it was uh, uh, an adrenaline rush. I bet, I bet. That well, wasn't too bad. I mean, like, the, you know, the sick cases here didn't fall over, and the stuff didn't fall off the right, wall. Right, it wasn't too bad. So, I mean, it, was, it was a nice little shaker. It was fun, fun stuff. I mean, it probably depends on where you were at, maybe. I don't know. But... So then you got your 
your snow and glass shovel. <laughs> and if that's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 And uh, this is a different video. Oh, look at here, look at here. You got, you got, you got, wow. <laughs> look at you got these big cracked up roads. Wow. There you go. There you see it now. Big old cracked up roads there. Yeah, that's pretty bad right there. Yeah, that'll mess you because there's no way around that. I mean, uh, no. you, got, you got some stuff on the sides there. Right. You got part of the road falling off to the edge. This yeah, guy, that would be freaky. This guy, how's he going to get his car out of there? <laughs> he's not. He's not getting, going that way. Can't go forward, can't go back. No. Nope. Uh, that part of the road just went down. Well, that's what it does. Here's some, uh, let's watch this one here. Okay. Some of the roads did all right, but another one fell apart. Yeah, there's certain spots that were got messed up. That's off an exit right there. Yeah. That, that looks like an exit ramp. That whole side of the freaking exit ramp got messed up. I'd say, hey, they got snow, but you know it's last. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's an exit ramp there. That happened. All right. Crazy. Oh, look at that one. Ooh, that's, a, that's a good one there. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be, uh... So, mostly, it looks like the roads took the damage. Right. I haven't seen any collapsed buildings. This building got kind of hosed up here. The office is all kind of got broken tables and crap like that. Yeah, you don't want these ceiling tiles falling on your head. I guarantee you. No, you don't. Those are some big ceiling tiles in there, and they yeah. look heavy, heavy duty. Yeah. And this guy, nothing. I don't see this here. Man, everything looks fine. Everything looks fine there. I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah, that car was on a flatbed trailer. Okay. They probably just told it. They, they winched it out of there. Yeah. They just winched it out of there. They hooked it up and freaking drug, dragged it out of there. Yeah. That's my guess. I don't. I mean, so yeah, some of these big plate plate glass windows broke. They have winches on those um, flatbeds, like automatic winches. You know, they just hook that sucker up and just. Everybody going to get oh, gas no. after the after the quake. They have people lining up for gas. Oh, no! It's the end of the world! <laughs> See, now you know what these ceiling tiles falling on your head? Look, you got these spikes coming down. Shit. Like that, man. Right. That could take out an eye or give you, you know, a laceration or... or st stab through the top of your head. You don't know. Impale you. <laughs> right. <laughs> you don't want that. Oh, the bookstore or the library there. That's a mess to clean up. Look at all those books all over the floor. Yeah, that'll be that'll be a work for somebody. Somebody some extra temporary work there. Oh, no, yeah. I don't know, Kate, but they they got it out of there somehow. Look at that mess. Look at that mess. <laughs> That's not too bad though. It's like the shelves aren't toppled over or anything. Well, they're probably bolted to the floor. Yeah, but um, the the footage they showed from the '64 quake was bad. Yeah. I mean, everything was just messed up. Like. Homes and business and buildings sunk down into the ground. Now, I'd say this guy got a broken door out of it, but we don't know if that was already broken. So yeah, we don't know. <laughs> but he's got some mess on the floor. Uh, not too bad. The grocery store there. You got some stuff on the floor, but not too much. You know, there's a lot of stuff. Most of the stuff still on the shelves. Yeah. 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 No. I was, it. It would still freak me out. Yeah, quite a mess. So there's the uh, map right there. 7.0 Anchorage. Well, how did all those plates come out? Oh, my God. Uh, who knows? That's a mess, though. Yeah. So there's that. Wow. Another picture. Okay, so it's across the... 
across the harbor there from Anchorage. Could have been it's worse. Seven miles from. Yeah, but it's across the harbor, so it could okay. have been worse. Could have been worse if it was on this side. Oh yeah, it could have been. It wasn't a direct hit. Yeah. That's good. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Well, cool, I, man. I don't know if I could live there if they get forty thousand earthquakes a year. Yeah, and then but they you dark know. for twenty four hours for some of the year. I just don't think I could. Take it's, it. it's only dark for six months. No big deal. Six months. <laughs> well, I think I think it's half a year. That's half the year. <laughs> yeah. And then the other half the light. The other half light. Uh, completely all twenty four seven. Yeah. Yeah. But, I just don't think I could get used you know, to that. Because I mean, you know, you figure the the tilt. The tilt of the earth. Alaska would be pretty and beautiful, and I've never been there, but I just don't think I could live there. Yeah, well, it's not happening. But that's okay. <laughs> it's, it seems like <laughs> right? a nice place, uh, you know. You, it's good, good isolation up there. Good, good hermit territory. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it gets cold up there, though. I yeah, mean, well, I, you it know. It gets cold in Wisconsin, but it's only for like four months. Up there, it's like cold for like six, eight months. Well, you know? As long as you got your propane or whatever. Yeah. I just don't think I'm an Alaska girl. Probably not. You're more of a Florida girl. No. Oh, no. No. What's wrong with Florida? Not Florida. No, I do not want to. No. <laughs> well, I know. It's not my favorite southern state, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, too damn many mosquitoes, that's what I know. In Florida? Yeah. Well, we got those in Wisconsin, too. Yeah, they, they got mosquitoes. I've never seen mosquitoes like I saw in Florida. Man, let me tell you. Yeah, I know. Bugs and everything are bigger down there. Yeah. Seems like. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. You know, down <laughs> where you live, you... Now, I don't know about where you live in New Mexico, but I know, like... Um, Arizona has like scorpions and tarantulas. And stuff well, we, like we got that. all those here. There's just uh, there's not too many. You know, um, it, it's it's like I don't know. They don't scorpion. come around. They don't, they don't, they, they don't come around I meant here. Scorpion. They don't they don't come around my house. That's all I know. Um, well, that's good. I hardly get any any uh, mosquitoes or flies or spy. Well, I get spiders, but not not a lot. Yeah. Um, well, I get a ton of spiders. I get ants, ants, or uh, any of those creepy crawlies. They don't come around here. Um, uh, the only thing in in uh, in uh, late August through early October is is uh, grasshopper season. Oh, okay. And and they they just fill your yard. The grasshoppers, man, they take over out there. Oh, I'm sure. And I don't know where they come from or where they go to, but they're there for a little <laughs> while. Then they move along. And they come back the next year. Huh. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, no, I've I've been reading articles on how spiders are beneficial. Oh, yeah, spiders are fine. You know, we don't because get, they I, eat bugs. I, I, I they don't eat other bugs that you really don't want in your house, you know. <laughs> yeah, and, and, you know, I, I have seen all these various other critters outside, but they don't come in. Huh. You know, they, they don't bother me. That's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, something else cool happened today, or something else oh, cool, okay. some, something good. <laughs> I guess uh, I get a call from uh, Comcast. Okay. And, and and the guy says, "Hey, you know, uh, uh, what, what do you think about your internet service?" I said, "Well, it's uh, it costs way too much." Right. Right. And he said, "Well, we got some deals here. You know, we're going to offer you this deal." Uh, here and uh, what we'll do is we'll triple the speed of your internet, Ooh. and uh, give you this I don't know some kind of TV thing where you can stream all the live TV free. Oh, okay. Um, and and I guess it it it's, it must be on the browser. I haven't looked at it yet. It was just late this afternoon when it happened, just for uh -huh. the Grammy show. Um, but uh, apparently, uh, I'll be able to. You can record it. You can you can DVR it somehow. Through that, but not with any equipment through your computer somehow. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. So um, that, and uh, and we'll give you all this for a year, and it's going to be four dollars less than you're paying now. Wow. So I said, hell yeah, hook me up, and and, yeah. and, and we were 
doing the thing, talking on, on the phone there. And he said, yeah. all right, oh, okay, I, I got the, I got the, the thing, because he had to send me an email, and I had to do this little thing. And uh, so he started to tell me the, some of the details and stuff. But at that point, my modem reset because they were they were putting it into the new speed. Right, right. So so uh, that was the last I heard of him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's VOIP. You know, right, right. No, no, oh, okay. No internet, no phone. So, oh, okay. So when the modem resets, you know. Anyway, so uh, anyway, but after that, I, I did a, I did the speed check, and uh, my my old speed was supposed to be sixty, and I usually got around eighty. Oh, okay. And the new speed. Uh, it was supposed to be 150 megabytes per second, but I'm getting about 180. Oh, cool! So it's it's really fast. I didn't get any any additional upload speed though, which I thought was kind of weird. But yeah, see, when I they they sent me notices and stuff and called me too and said your modem is out there. I called them and they told me my modem was outdated. So yeah, I went and swapped out my the old one for the new one, and it does it did seem to be make a difference for sure. Did you run a speed test on her? No, I did. I think I did when I first hooked it up. That was like two months ago or something. Okay. Or a month ago or something. Yeah, anyway. Sure. I'm, I'll yeah, check it out. I'm, I'm getting 100, 180 megabits per second download. That's, uh... <laughs> That's pretty good. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I guess that's probably, I don't know, Rob, I, I, most people probably don't upload a lot of shit, but, uh, you know, when you do shows like this and you got to upload videos and, and MP3s and all that stuff, then, yeah, you need, I, I, I still get, I get six to eight megabits upload, which it works fine, I, I mean, uh, I'm not, like, sending out movies or nothing, <laughs> Bush 41, right, right. oh, the old fucker. <laughs> oh really? I, I, oh. I, I don't. I don't feel. I don't feel. I don't feel bad for him. Yeah. The one that was involved in the JFK assassination. Oh, 43 died. Oh, all right. W. W. Wait. No, W is not 43. 40. The old one. Uh, the 40, 43 the old was not 94 George years Hubert, old. Hubert. George Hubert. How are you saying? What? George H. Bush. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, died, not George W. Bush. H. W. So ninety. Yeah, H. W. So forty one. Herbert Walker. Right, yeah, Kate. 41. Herbert Walker. H. W. I have to restart my uh, Firefox here. All right. Yeah. Firefox, uh, Bush forty one. So it was, was H. W. So. Uh, what happened here? Okay. Uh, he was. All right. He would have been ninety four, but uh, W. No, himself, yeah, it's the old one. It's probably sixty, seventy, something like that. Seventy. Oh yeah. It's he. He wasn't doing well. Barbara died about a year ago. Oh, you know, most of these kids don't remember uh, H.W. So they want forty three to die. Right. <laughs> <laughs> See what Cowboy Tech's got up there for Let speed. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna go to oh, Twitter. Oh man. Cowboy Tech's running uh, forty seven down and six. So he gets basically near the same upload speed as me. But His wife died a year ago, about, or whenever she died. Bam. That's good, CT. But, yeah, there's nothing about it right now on... Uh, Twitter? Let's see, Twitter. Oh, I think on Twitter it has to be. I'm not seeing nothing yet, but... There has to be on Twitter. The 43rd. Oh, statement by the 43rd. Okay. Show oh, okay. Here. All right. Oh, yeah, there he's starting to trend now. George H.W. Oh, I see the twent trend. H.W. Bush, the old fart. 94. Good. He's the one that was, he was the head of the CIA when JFK was murdered. He was in on the plot. I don't give a fuck he was 94. He was a fucking evil fuck. <laughs> yes, he, he was. was. He was an evil fuck. Yep, yep. Nothing wrong with that. You know, uh, you know whatever. People felt sorry for him because he was old. It's like... I know, I know. What do you do? Good riddance, buddy. <laughs> you know, he was evil. He was evil. Like, the JFK assassination. Everybody fucking 
knows he was involved in it. He's a Texan, just like when LBJ was. It was a Texas... A lot of people involved in that murder were from Texas. You know? Yep, evil was his name. He was fucking evil. Did you guys think I'm lying? Look at the fuck up. He was the head of the fucking CIA. Yeah. Screw him, I don't fact, care. I am I can't make that. Alright, that's that's enough airtime for him. That's not opinion. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's enough air time for him. <laughs> let's yeah. Oh, good riddance, buddy. Let's, let's, hear, let's, let's hear yeah. some music here. Um, uh, the the uh, Today, also today, um, was, uh, or is, I guess, still, depending on where he's at. I don't know where he's at. Uh, Billy Idol's birthday. Okay, I so, saw something. Happy birthday, Billy Idol. Let's hear that. Let's hear that sound. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Little Richard there for the Moose Girl. Uh, back from 1956, doing Long Tall Sally. Uh, before that, we had a, a, a special little thing there. ZZ Top song, LaGrange, by a gal named Luna. With playing on these, I don't know what the hell those things are called that she's playing on, but man, she could move them fingers around real nice. And we kicked it off there with a Billy Idol doing Rebel Yell. Yeah, we like Billy. At least I do. I don't know if y'all do, but I, I certainly uh, in, enjoyed Billy's music. I saw Generation X in uh, in concert before. I never saw Billy Idol by a solo act, but I did see Generation X. Hmm. And uh, that's nice, nice speed there. That's a high ping, though. You got a high ping going on, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, George Bush, George <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Praise praising this man. It's it's gonna. It, uh, yeah. Well, you know, you're gonna hear about it all weekend. I'm sure. Oh well, yeah, all week. And uh, yeah, whatever, man. Fuck the guy. We all know. I know uh, the truth about that man. Read my lips. I'm I mean, gonna not screw you. Obviously, but I, I you know. Uh, that was, that was I'm lying. No. Uh, read my lips. <laughs> yeah. What did he say? He, remember, read my lips, no new no taxes. No more taxes or no new taxes. Yep, and then he started jacking up all kinds of taxes. Yeah, <laughs> as <laughs> per usual. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. So. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, well, whatever. Screw they say he was a man of the highest character. That was the one. Part of the quote from his family. Oh, it's I'm like, sure that's dude, what they he, say. He had a someone, a president murdered, <laughs> and probably who knows how many other people. Uh, but the biggest one he had murdered was JFK. He played a role in it. Oh, he was in, in all kinds of nasty ass shit, man. He was. And you know they're not going to mention any of that the next week. He, he, well, of course not. They love him, and they want they're you to love him. Not going to mention that he was head of the CIA at that time. They're not going to mention he was there when it happened. Yep, yep. You're not going to hear about that. Amazon Fire Sticks will be here. How many are you getting, this man? This pisses me off. I mean... Okay. Well, it's, it it's, still pisses me off, but whatever. Let, let's hit some... It's history. <laughs> we can't change it. That's, it is what it is. And then someone just said... um. On my Facebook, F. Poppy Bush, the murdering inbred, inbred a hole, seems <laughs> Not sorry. Not sorry. Not so <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's hear some little stories here. All uh, right. This first one comes from koat.com. All right. Couple forced to prove New Mexico is a state. <laughs> While, yeah, oh, while, yeah, I posted you that, too. While, while applying for a marriage license. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is weird. This is really... Well, you wish it was weird, but it, it, it's right. kind of like... It's, it, it's, it's it, it reminds me of like when the, when the people go to pay for their food with a $2 bill, 
And they're right. like, that's not real money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, same kind of thing. Uh, Gavin Clarkson was stopped in his tracks while applying for a marriage license after a clerk refused to take his driver's license yeah. from New Mexico as proof of identification. <laughs> Clarkson, who once ran for New Mexico Secretary of State, said the District of Columbia clerk <laughs> thought that he was a foreign citizen. He was told he, oh my God. <laughs> he would have to provide an international passport to get a marriage license. You know, uh, you were from flyover country. Uh, when, when you were applying for a marriage license, give them a New Mexico's driver's license, and they come back <laughs> and say, my supervisor says we cannot accept international driver's license. Do you have a New Mexico passport? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! After speaking, wrong. after speaking with the the, su the supervisor, Clarkson was told he still needed a passport to apply. Apparently, it would have been easier if I had shown my tribal ID. <laughs> right, it would have been. Eventually, around twenty minutes later, holy crap! Uh, around around twenty minutes later, the clerk clerk finally realized the error and apologized. Yeah, because someone told her. Well, yeah, maybe they See, looked, maybe they looked it up on the internet. Holy. Maybe maybe they looked it up on the internet. I, I don't know. Oh it, my it's god! Just, just like, who, who's teaching? Me? What? How <laughs> can, oh my god! Who's, who's teaching these people things today, man? I do not. Uh, son of a whore. <laughs> oh my god! I saw them. I just started laughing. I'm uh, like, it's, it's really? It's ridiculous. And and then this wow. is a, another story that I, I, we were talking about there in the chat today earlier today. Yeah. Um, radio station plop stops playing. Baby, it's cold outside. Oh yeah. Due, yeah. due to hashtag Me Too. <laughs> okay, people, chill, relax, mess all. Come on now. You guys are taking this way too far. It's an old classic Christmas song. <laughs> And you guys are tearing it apart and making it be like, oh no! It's, it's, well, it does when you when you read the lyrics. It it it's a guy trying to get the woman to stay at his house longer. Right, right. For sex. For sex, yeah. Right. I mean, duh. That's why. You know. It says a, a Cleveland right. radio station stop playing "Baby It's Cold Outside" this holiday season after its listeners voiced oh concern. About the song's predatory undertones amid the Me Too movement. Uh, it's a guy trying to get laid. Yeah. Come on. Uh, WDOK Christmas 102 pulled the song from its around the clock rotation of Christmas music this week after receiving a call from a listener who suggested it is inappropriate oh, God. in 2018. Don't play alert. Inappropriate in 2018. The, the call and response song, written in nineteen in the nineteen forties, includes a woman right. singing that she has to leave a man's house be, as he tries to lure her to stay. It's because she doesn't want people to eventually to slut. That's because back in the day you didn't do that unless you were married to somebody. You yeah. didn't in the nineteen forties. <laughs> you did not. If you did do that, and let's say you lived in a small town or something, you would have been thought of as to be a slut. In the song, the goods. <laughs> in the song, the female sings, "I really can't stay." To which the man responds, "But baby, it's cold outside." Outside, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, other lines include the woman saying, "Say, what's in this drink?" Right. And, and I simply must go. The answer is no. Uh, right. <laughs> anyway, they list the whole uh, lyrics of the song here. In this uh, article, and you know he's he's just trying to get a little, and and and, and she sounds okay, awful. It was back in the forties, Grim. Things are so different back then, as far as dating and stuff like that. That it was just a different time. So the song is actually fitting for the time. It's and still fitting. Are to love it. As it, a it ain't not fitting. Song. It, it's 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 still not fit. I mean, it's still a fitting song. It's a great little tune. Well, yeah. <laughs> True. I mean, it's just they're taking it way too far. Oh, they're ridiculous. They're so ridiculous. It's like, come on, people. Okay. I now mean, this this one, this one, this next one mm -hmm. cracked me up. 
<laughs> it comes from Reuters top news. Reuters. Or whatever, Reuters, Reuters, <laughs> butt routers. Uh, on, on Twitter. <laughs> special, right. re special report. How Iran spreads disinformation around the world. Now, I didn't read the article, because I didn't really care. However, I did read the comments. <laughs> For our first comment. How America spreads dis disinformation and propaganda around the world through Reuters and Associated Press. Um, some guy says, I trust Iran over the U.S. media. Uh, <laughs> says, and you people share your, uh, have your own share in this disinformation. Uh, everyone with a cause does. What's the bottom line of an acceptable question? Uh, 20, 20 million followers averaging 20 likes. Uh, anyway, just all kinds of all kinds of comments like that. Nobody's buying their shit. Um, it's a, <laughs> this guy says, what a, what a fucking joke. United States has no ground to speak on coming from a native. Uh, it's a, it says, bad, bad country. America's way better in this area of expertise. <laughs> this other guy says, yeah, right. I think you mean Pompeo, Saudi Arabia, and the CIA. <laughs> <laughs> and, one, 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 and one guy just says, oh, fuck off. <laughs> right. It was like, just a good it was like, statement to say when it's something total bullshit, you know? Yeah, yeah. And to me, it was like, y y your shit ain't selling. Nobody's buying this stuff from you assholes anymore. Okay, you got it. Do you have Adam Kokesh on your Twitter? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Y you got to look at what he told <laughs> Well, just give me a pop a link in there. Yeah, hang on. How do I do that? Just right, right copy click on the time. Right click on the time that it was posted and copy link. Hang on. He on the time. Yeah, the time it was. It says like. Copy link. Okay, yeah. got it. Yeah. And you just post it in there. Paste it in there. there for, for those of you who believe in hell, this is what it looks like <laughs> now. So let's see. Well, let's see what Adam's got up here for us. Oh, well, he's got the Satan from South Park <laughs> with, with McCain, Bush, and Saddam. Love it, love it. <laughs> Let me see. Did you post it up on the? You did. No, I mean, did you put it on the? Oh screen? no, I, I didn't. You want me to? Do oh, that? okay, I'll, that's I'll all right. They can look at it. It's easy enough. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. So the South Park, uh, Satan and Saddam, and then Bush. and he says his his statement was for those who believe in hell, this is what it looks like now. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Some guy, some, some guy asks, where the fuck is Barbara? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. He should be. She should be on there too. Yeah, another guy he says. Everything. He told her everything. Uh, another guy replies, "I guess draining the swamp meant letting them all die off of old age." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how convenient, right? Oh, oh God. yeah. Oh my God. But but that Reuters thing that just cracked me up because it was like, yeah, yeah, you, you guys trying to sell this shit. Nobody's buying your lies. Nobody. Right. Not not one single positive response on that Reuters story. Or anything that that even remotely acted like they believed that how Iran spreads disinfo around the world coming from the U.S. Right. Come on. <laughs> you gotta be. Yeah. What kind of drugs are you on? I was wondering that myself because of something Trump said, or some maybe it wasn't Trump. It was someone else. But I'm just like I don't want to know what kind of fucking good drugs they're doing because maybe I don't want to do the same drugs because they're obviously making them just. Wow. Oh, by by the way, Pox, and I, and I and I and I saved this story today, especially for you, Poxvad, because what scumbags you have out there? Yeah. Apparently, growing marijuana at home would be banned under new bill in Michigan. <laughs> so what? they they they, they, they passed. We were about last week. No, no, because they passed the thing. The, the, okay, it says here, Republican lawmakers introduced bills yesterday that would undo some of the provisions 
in two of the ballot proposals overwhelmingly passed by voters on November 6th. Yeah, vote harder because... What the hell? Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> let me go on, let me go on. One bill introduced by Senate Majority Leader Adrian Meekhoff, fuck off, um, <laughs> would prohibit homegrown marijuana that was part of the legalization ballot proposal passed by a 56 to 44 margin. The provision allows anyone over age of 21 to grow up to 12 marijuana plants per person in their right. homes for personal use. Meekoff hey. said Thursday that he wants to prohibit home grows as a way to stop pot from flooding neighborhoods across the street. <laughs> and then he goes on to say, people don't get to make alcohol. Yes, they do. Yeah, you, they make you, beer all the time. You can make, well, you can make beer, you can make wine, you can make whiskey, you can make any any alcohol you want, you, you can, can make, make it at home. You can make still if you want. Right, make food. <laughs> so, since people don't get to make alcohol and serve it in unregulated bars, you mean like somebody's living room? Yeah, uh, to, that's to not a bar, they that's want a personal to. home. Homegrown marijuana is basically unregulated. Oh, fuck off it is. Who it's cares? totally regulated. We don't want it to be. I know we don't want it to be, but it is. And he's he's just right. lying through his fucking teeth here. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Really? Uh, what, what, who's the other guy? What did he say? Uh, bills introduced by Senator Mike Kowal White. I might have to shake it from a fucking uh, um, bobcat or something. Get some big old claws and shit. Or a grizzly. Just go up to D.C., shape shift into a grizzly. Right. And rip some fuckers apart. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's just crazy. <laughs> but but there you go. You know, you get all the people to vote for it. And, and this is what you get. This is what you get. Vote fucking harder because God damn it, they're just going to change whatever you voted for and make it. Uh, we'll try and totally eliminate it, but at this point in time, um, that, that, that's what that's what they're that's what they're going for. Yeah, it, it, we knew this was going to happen. I mean, it, we've been warned about this. We've talked about this. We've talked about the difference between legalization and decriminalization and the wording to use when it comes to freeing the weed. Um, and we don't want, we want as little government involvement as possible, basically. <laughs> that's the goal. And that's the goal and for me, for anything, really, you know, back right. to the fuck off me, you know? Right. As far as government fucking goes, it's like, don't fucking lie oh, to oh, me. Oh, well, you know, um... Don't fucking just blatantly lie to me, like I'm some fucking stupid fuck that doesn't know that you're lying to me. Because I know that you're lying to me. Here's, no, here's the story. The here's the story uh, on that there, Rob Works. Rob Works says they, but they did make hemp legal. And I'm not sure. Yeah, that, they made it legal here in Wisconsin. No, 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 no. no. I'm not. I'm not. Want to fucking grow it. Anyway, I'm not sure it's a done deal yet, but here it is. It, it's it, here, it's stupid. And it's so slow how this stuff go, goes gets passed and goes through. Anyway, well, here, we, you know, <laughs> they drag their feet and they fucking they put all these rules into it and they fucking. Oh, well, this, that, they him and ha. They're him and ha about it. All right, well, anyway, here's the story. Here's the story, Moose. Okay. Uh, measure reclassifying hemp tucked into pending farm bill. Yeah. So I don't know if it's, it's done like deal this. yet, but it says, A provision reclassifying industrial hemp from a federally controlled substance to an agricultural commodity was successfully wedged into the 2018 farm bill Thursday, marking a significant step towards making the cannabis-based byproduct fully mainstream. Uh, the provision is incorporated uh, after Senate Leader Mitch McConnell negotiated with members of Agricultural Committee to have both House and Senate uh, to see it included in the bill. Uh, the Agriculture Improvement Act of 2018, also known as the 2018 Farm Bill. Uh, I don't see if they voted on it yet. This was posted yesterday. So... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if they've voted and approved it yet. Even if they have, uh, Trump can still fuck it if yeah, he wants, if he wants to. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. So, um, <laughs> anyway, there you go. There you go on that. The from Courthouse News. Uh, so it's 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 a step forward, um, and you know we're not talking about weed there. We're talking about hemp. Right. But uh, I, I would love to see hemp legalized totally, or yeah. whatever made so it's it's. Just a, just a, a commodity or just a product like corn it's or whatever. It's just like cotton. 
or something. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, and, and that, would, that would be awesome. Hemp has a lot, a lot of good stuff to it. It does. And, uh, it, it, it I, I would, so much stuff out of it. I, I would love to be able to buy, you know, raw hemp or hemp products. Yeah. Wherever I went, so um, uh, that would be a good thing. All right, one last story for this segment. All right. <laughs> He laughs. Because <laughs> it's so unbelievable. Wait, I just got to say one thing quick, though. All right. Grammy, batten down the freaking hatches, girl. Yeah, batten them down. There's some storms heading your way into Kansas or Oklahoma so or something like that, yep. I read. Make, so make sure you bring Toto in. Yeah, be on the lookout there, girl. Well, don't, 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 don't uh, cross any uh, old women on bicycles. Right. All right. Um, <laughs> Never mind. So here you go. From campusreform.org. University of Iowa invites students to reflect on their whiteness. Oh, God. Really? University of Iowa? Really? My brother would think. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's about the whitest motherfucking state out oh there. Oh, my God. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Can't deny that. Anyway, the University of Iowa will hold a workshop aimed at helping students understand their whiteness. What now? Understand their what? 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 Mm. Understand what? <laughs> this is a like it's taking a class in underwater basket week. All right, this is a bullshit fluff class. Oh my god. The, the the event description states that the discussion can be the first step for self reflecting and assuming. Assuming greater personal responsibility for eliminating racism. Meaning, oh, wow. are you white? Yes. You're a racist. Wow. You're a racist. Oh, my God. If you're white. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, listen. The, 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 chul, the school's chief diversity office. The diversity, uh, okay, now. You got now that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Chief Diversity Office, along with several campus allies, are sponsoring the event. These workshops are, oh, are aimed at people who want to learn, learn about and discuss inherent privileges that come with being white. Oh, my God. I need yeah. to mute so I can puke. No, right wait. Now. Are you privileged? Do you feel privileged yet? No. <laughs> This, Not at all. This could be the first step for self-reflecting. Uh, the workshops are being held as part of the university's excellent through diversity. And when they say diversity, they mean anybody but the white people. Yes, that's what they mean. <laughs> that's what they mean. Uh, a poster for the workshops includes a quote from educational consultant Emily Chirilio, I guess, which reads, it's impossible to see privilege and dominance associated with white racial identity without acknowledging that whiteness is a racial identity. What? Ta -da! <laughs> <But> ta -da! <laughs> this, 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 this is your world today. This is a this this, crazy this, world today. This is what it's come down to, you freaking white racist bastard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not that. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh man, let me tell you. <laughs> it's crazy, Grim. You can't make this shit up. You can't make it up, but we can make up some. We can point, we... City, Iowa, you guys are fucked up. Iowa, so fucking. I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, you guys. I mean, I get it to a point, you know, but not really. It's like you guys are making uh... it worse. It's so ridiculous. It is. It, it's University of Iowa. You fucking suck. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. What the hell did I do? I clicked the wrong thing. I don't know. What did you do? I clicked, I clicked the wrong camera. You hit, you, accidentally. I clicked the wrong camera. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> you know. All right. I think we're going to play some music right. right here right now. All right. Back before the days when Billy Idol was Billy Idol, he was in a band called Generation X. And so this song is one of their songs off of their first album, Generation X. And it's a John Lennon tune called Give Me Some Truth. <laughs> yeah, 
that's some good old hoedown stuff right there. Uh, Billy Strings doing Roll On Buddy for the Mighty Moose Girl. Uh, before that, we had Muse uh, singing Uprising, and uh, it's a good, good, uh, good rebellion tune, let me tell you that. A great one. And we kicked it off with Generation X and Give Me Some Truth. Happy birthday again there, uh, Billy Boy. Billy Idol. <laughs> Yeah, that Billy Strings, he's one to watch for. He's an up and coming bluegrass guy. He's young. Yeah. Um old school voice, old school style. He's just he can do anything. I mean he was at Blue Ox last year, it was amazing. Um he is good. He's very good. Cool. So he's he's an up and comer in the bluegrass scene. All right. Well the people there sort of certain seem to like him and he had a good sound there. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me tell you, you get a when you get a yeehaw out of out of Vinny, then you know it's it's that down home style. Right. Oh <laughs> yeah. I mean, he is touring right now, and he's actually playing right now, probably. Yeah. But uh, I'm on the show, so I'm not listening to it. But Mixler m i x l r dot com. Yeah. It's a very good resource to listen to get audio from live shows as they're happening. Yeah, he's the uh, broadcast. I know, I know Cowboy Tech signed up on Mixler. I think Kate is me. Um, it's it's a white site. It will it has no viruses, nothing nothing wrong with it. I, I, I used to, I used to broadcast. I used to broadcast what? through. I used to broadcast through Mixler. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, if you want to hear live music while it's happening, I mean, I've listened to Infamous String Lusters, Horses and Hand Grenades, Billy Strings, Leftover Salmon. <laughs> Dead and Company, Phil and Friends. I mean, so, so many bands I have listened to while they're playing live from their show. Right, right. You know, you don't get the video, but that's all right. If there's like a chat room that goes with it. You don't have to chat if you don't want to, obviously. Mm-hmm. But um, it's a very good resource. I have. I, I said before before I before I set up my own. Uh... Uh, my, my own shoutcast server. I, I used Mixler. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. It's a good. So you and you liked it, right? Oh, they were they were, they were fine. They had, they had some limitations for free accounts, but right. Um. O- overall, uh, I mean, they, they were they were nice. They were a nice place. I have met so many cool people on there too. Like, I I don't know how to ex- explain it, but I've met a lot of cool people on there, and I've even actually talked to people I know on there. You know? Yeah. Oh, hey, you know. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. I'm just saying, if you guys want, and then, so the more channels you follow, like, if you follow a channel on Mixler, like, you'll get notices of when they're broadcasting live in your email. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then you can just go, oh, okay, cool. You know, this is live right now. I can, you know, someone's broadcasting from that show. Right, right. Yeah, it's pre- I don't know what kind of equipment they use. If they're tapped into the soundboard. I think that's what it is, but I'm not sure on that. You know, if you go to a show and you plan on streaming it live, do they, like, are they, is this a person that's, you know, the soundboard knows the band? Usually it is. Right. Usually it's the guy that's running the soundboard that is broadcasting the show. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, 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 that's cool. So it's usually really good sound quality. It's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, it's, I had, had great sound quality broadcasting through there, you know. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I, I'm just saying, in and case anyone didn't listened, know, I'll just post the link here. It's Mixler.com. It's very simple. It's yeah, no, I've, I've listened to some of the some of the shows you posted, so. I heard I heard some of that. What was it Dead & Company the other night? Who was that on there? Oh, yeah. No, that was Phil Lesh & Friends. Oh, Phil Lesh & Friends. So. He, was, he's the base, he was the basis in The Grateful Dead. But was he also with Dead & Company? No, he was with the Terrapin Family Band, which is his son's band. Oh, okay. He has two sons, and that's their band. That's who I saw at Revival last summer. Yeah. was Phil Lesh with the Terrapin Family Band. And Friends. Like, they have people sitting with them. Like, they, it, the band changes all the time. Right. But it was dead tunes they were playing. Mostly, for the most part, you know. But um, just some really awesome music out there. Live shows are always, like, a lot of times, like, right now, Billy Strings is out in Colorado. Okay. So then shows get pretty rowdy. 
You know, and they're late night because Colorado's on the West Coast. No, it's not. Well, <laughs> well, no, it's close to the West Coast. It's not on the, <laughs> but it, you know what I mean. They have they're in the West Coast time zone or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so well. someone from the East Coast listening to a Colorado show, they're staying up late. You know. Yeah. But it's so cool to <laughs> hear the shows live. I I like live music, so I I can get into it. You know. Yeah, it's not that close. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I'd say, as uh, Pockets White points out, it's not close either. Yeah, it's not, it's not real close to the West Coast. <laughs> no, not really. It's a no. few states, see, though, see, but they're on this, this, time. This, 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 That's what I meant. They start, late, like, compared to the East Coast, it's Colorado it, like two hours behind. It's yeah. mountain time, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so the uh, and, and this is one of the things, and I've talked about this, or mentioned this before, it's always bothered me that... This, where I live, where Colorado yeah. is, where Wyoming is, we should be called the Midwest. Really? You, you out there where you are, should yeah. be should be called the Mid East. Right? No, I agree with that. Yeah, because you're you're so certainly I'm not in the West at all. I I like I'm in the middle of the country. <laughs> you're 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 no. Middle East. You're in the Middle East. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> you're, you're you're an Arab. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, so, that, that's true, Graham. That that's it, it's fucked up, you know. Yeah. Well, that's because I think when they when they started using that term, it was uh, there there was that was just there was the geography of the country at that point. Right. Right. Yeah. They hadn't hadn't yeah. gone all the way out. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, yeah. Any anyway, so streaming, streaming, streaming. Yeah, uh, you don't use Netflix anymore, do you? Uh, no, not right now. I do not. Okay, I, I don't. I don't use it either. Uh, I I I ended my subscription. But apparently on Netflix you can stream in 4K. But I will probably get it again. I mean. Of course, I don't have 4K equipment anyway, so I couldn't stream yeah, in 4K. Me I, either. I, I guess I could, but I, I wouldn't want to because why well, waste all that? Anyway, this story comes up here from slash dot dot org. Your 4K Netflix streaming is on a collision course with your ISP's data caps. Uh-oh. Now, it all depends on who your ISP is and whether or not you have data caps. I, on Comcast, have data caps. Um, okay. Uh, many others do not. Anyway, uh, from this here, household bandwidth consumption is soaring thanks to video streaming, new data suggests and Americans are about to run face-first into broadband usage limits and overage fees. The critics say are unnecessary and anti-competitive. Now, that, that's all I really want to give you from that article, um, because I have a better or another one that's talking about it. Um, can pay 50 bucks a month to remove that data cap. Yeah, that's just wonderful. Fuck that. Um, I'm <laughs> paying them extra. <laughs> so here, 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 here's the, uh, here's the thing, here's the thing. You like to watch yeah. movies. You like to stream movies. Everybody else does too. Yeah. Americans are streaming eight billion hours of content per month. Well, I believe that. <laughs> on connected TVs. Eight billion. We got three hundred and fifty million, three hundred and seventy million Americans, whatever there is. Eight billion <laughs> hours. Wow. <laughs> With the rise of streaming services and the trend towards cord cutting, the way you as consumers are watching video is also changing. Today more well, than Yeah, people don't wanna pay like my fucking cable bill. I, I actually called a bitch and I said, I'm quitting I'm canceling. You know, and then I get the right person. They they talk me into staying because they lowered my friggin' stuff, you know? Right. It's like, you know, and I wouldn't say do this every month and try to call a bitch at them. But I'd say every once in a while, call them up. You know, I paid too fucking much for your service. I'm quitting. Yeah. You know? They'll bend over backwards. They'll give you a better deal. Yeah, I can... Yeah, he says, yeah. today, today, more than two-thirds of U.S. homes have devices that are able to stream videos. In a yep. new report out this morning, the measurement firm looked at the impact these services are having on the connected living room. 
Yeah, I mean, TV. Yeah. Or, or wherever. It could be, you know, on your tablets. or I mean, people could stream right, on right, anything. Right. Uh, but they mean live TV. Like, a lot of people don't watch live TV. That's why they came up with the DVRs and stuff, because so people can record things. So people are out doing stuff, like Christmas shopping and everything. That's yeah. why, like, the major networks, they put their their main shows on hold for a month. Right. Till after the holiday season, because they know people aren't watching it live. Right, sure. Why? They're why recording bother? it or streaming it online. Yep. Uh, and so they're uh, yeah. noting also that Americans are now streaming nearly 8 billion hours a month uh, yep. on connected TV devices like Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV. Uh, not, not even a mention of, of uh, Netflix there. I uh, actually feel weird when I'm sitting in my living room watching the television. I'm sitting at my couch watching my TV. I just feel weird. It's like I don't normally do that. That's not where I normally watch shows. Well, and, and that's you and me. But here it says, what's more is that consumers ages 13 to 34 will mm -hmm. spend twice the time streaming when, watch, when watching on connected TV devices compared yeah. with watching on computer or mobile devices. I believe it. My, we had a DVR. We still have a DVR in the living room, and Zach used to use that all the time. So it's, so it's cool because you can fast forward through commercials and everything. So specifically, Nielsen says that consumers 13 and older were streaming an average of more than an hour per day versus right. 30, 36 minutes on the computer, 24 minutes on mobile devices like uh, smartphones and tablets. So... Um, no, I believe it. Yeah. TV, cable may be going down the tubes, but but uh, TV is not. The networks aren't. TV, TV is not, yeah. No, because they'll just evolve. Right. They'll just evolve to the demand of the consumer, you know. It says here, though, interestingly, though, despite the overall growth and over-the-top streaming, linear TV still dominates... Um, so traditional live TV viewing still accounts and for the And see, I used to be able to... Hang on a second. I used to be able to watch American Pickers on History Channel with all commercials. Yeah. But then they changed it. So now if you want no commercials, you got to pay five bucks a month. And so, like, the networks, too, are doing the same thing. Like, if I have ad blocker, I try to watch something on ABC, this thing comes, and this happens on R L M too. Yeah. This thing pops up and says, oh, you have ad blocker running. We know that. Yeah, I put that you on know? there. I put that so on there. You disable it, and it's like, no, 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 well, they're catching just on. And then they, they say, like, on History <laughs> Channel, okay, don't want to see commercials? Well, then pay $5 a month. Yeah, well, you don't have to pay anything on R L M. You just, just, no, I know, and, and but you, you just... You, you actually don't even... Up, says, this is a social media site, blah, blah, blah. No, it doesn't. It just says Please. Uh, a lot of the content that's on here is for your benefit, for you to see it. If if you have the, if your ad blocker is not whitelisted on, on RLM, you're not going to see the... I don't even know what whitelisted means. I have no idea what that means. Well, what, you, what are you running, ad block you plus? just click don't run on this page, right? Yeah, yeah, that's whitelisted. That's what I usually do. Yeah. So just yeah, whitelist it, then you get to see the you know very various a lot of the content right. dis dis no, disappears. So RLM is different in that way because it's not ads, but all these other fucking networks and shit. Like I had Hulu, but I I, I ha got it back because that's the only way I can watch some shows without commercials is through Hulu. If I go through the network, I'm gonna either have to sign up with them now or have to watch commercials, and I fucking I can't stand commercials. Right. Like, and it's not just, you know, the bitch that I have about it, it's not just one commercial or two commercials. It's six commercials. <laughs> and one of them is like 90 seconds. Right. It's like, and it's for a drug or whatever. It's like, come on. Something that will kill you. It pisses you off, you know? Yeah. What? Yeah, something that will kill you, some drug that will kill you. Yeah, and then they, you know, the thing about these drug commercials, now we're going off subject, you know, or off tangent. But it's all these, side, some of the side effects they list, it's like, no fucking way am I ever even trying your fucking drug. Right. And so hearing all these side effects they list, it's like, no, I'm not doing that. Thank you very much, but no, thank you. Uh, no, primarily, no. Um, it, it does not, uh, it, 
does not. Big Pharma, they're just like an ex experimenter. They're like fucking Frank, Dr. Frankenstein or something. Well, let's, let's invent this drug and see if it works, you know. The FDA will prove it. You know, the FDA approves a lot of shit without it being properly tested or whatever. You know what I mean? Right. But then they'll, like, if something that says hemp or, or THC, oh, no, no, no. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> you know? If, if you have half a brain, you're even, you know, at least half a brain. You can see right through this shit. Right. If you don't have half a brain, then I I don't know what to tell you. I, I well, if you don't have... it doesn't take a rocket science or a brainiac <laughs> to figure this shit out. You don't have to be a rocket scientist or whatever. You don't right. have to be in Mensa to see through this shit. No, you do not. You know, put right. two and two together. If you don't, if, you, if you're having a hard time putting two together. Start delving into history. Sure. You know, pick a subject. Okay, JFK assassination. That's one. Pick that another is, subject. MK Ultra program. There's another one. Pick another subject. You know, the list goes on and on. You want to know about something? Fucking learn about it. Don't just say, oh, I know everything I need to fucking know, and I there's nothing else I need to fucking learn. No. If you want to fucking really know, you will take the time to learn about a subject. You won't just go, well, my opinion's the best, and let your ego take over, which we are all guilty of. If you, if you want to learn, you will. But my shackles, my shackles have nice padding, free. <laughs> Fur? For lined or fleece yeah, or what? Yeah, nice soft padding, so I'm comfortable. Okay, yeah. I can be comfortable in my so, chains and shackles. Right, you know, you guys don't let people think for you. Like one of the biggest things that I've told my children for a long time was do your own, make your own fucking decisions. Oh, here, let me give you this recipe. Don't let someone else fucking tell you to fucking do something. And you said do it without thinking about it first. Make your own fucking decisions. <laughs> here, Moose. Something a little different. Let me, let me give you this recipe um, <laughs> that uh, I found here. Okay. You okay. can make these for yourself. Uh, they're Is called, this real or purity? No, it's real. It's real. It's because they're called okay. peanut, peanut butter snowballs. Oh, okay. Uh, and it says they have uh, two cups powdered sugar, one and a third cups peanut butter, a uh, quarter cup butter, uh, two thirds cup graham crackers, a uh, tablespoon of maple syrup, some kosher salt. Some white chocolate melted. You could you could use chocolate chocolate, but you know there's there's snowballs. So some coconut oil and some sprinkles for garnish. And uh, here I'll I'll put the picture up on the screen now. Okay. You could see it. You could see it for yourself because I'm supposed to like these or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a look. Peanut butter snowballs. Yeah, and you can make these at home and, Let's and check them out. Ooh, you, oh yeah, you, that look good. You could make these at home and and send me some. Oh. Yeah, those <laughs> look really good. I could do that. I could. Oh, those look really good. Yeah. Yeah. And I am a good baker. And oh, well, you know, it's Christmas, so you got to do some baking. Right, I do. Yeah. And I even made sure I bought like updated flour and updated brown sugar. Because, you know, this, I haven't baked for a while. You don't want to use, like, outdated stuff. You want to use fresh stuff. Oh, you know? sure, sure, sure. And I always get the unbleached flour. Like, a friend of mine makes stuff, you know, for Christmas, and I'm like, did you use bleached flour or unbleached flour? He, and he's like, bleached? Why? I'm like, oh, I'm just wondering. I don't want to make him feel bad, you know? <laughs> anyway, it looks like they're really easy to make. it, and, and Yeah, it's, no, it's, that looks good. So I just said... I just think unbleach is better. That's all I said. You know, it was in check seat. You know what I mean? Right. And, and it's like I didn't want to make them feel bad. Because a lot of people don't know, like, the process of what happens to flour. Like, flour isn't white. Okay? No, it's brown. It's kind of brownish. Right. And so when they over-process it, they, they want to make it look white. Why, I don't know. Why flour has to be 
pure white, it makes no sense to me at all, because it isn't when it's naturally processed. Right, no reason for and, it. Right, and so it's like, you know, people haven't been educated about this stuff. You know, they've been snowballed and, or hoodwinked or whatever by marketing companies and everything and by corporations. Well, you know, like CNH sugar. Sugar, even, is not pure white when it's processed. Yeah. It's brown. It's like a like brown sugar color. Almost. Or even a little bit lighter than brown sugar. But like, So I use raw sugar in my coffee. Oh, good, yeah. Yeah, because I, you know, and actually I should bake with that kind of sugar, too. Yeah, I use the Damara. Damara. Like you, I use the Marina that you can get in a big old, at Sam's Club, they have a big old, like, five-pound bag of meat. Or three pounds, maybe. I don't know what it is. But it's a huge bang. And it lasts me for, like, six months. De, 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 de it's not longer. What? De, Demerara? I guess that's what it's called. No, Demerara. Mine's de. called Morena. Well, that's it's not the brand. It's the type of sugar. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the same kind of sugar I use. Yeah. Yes. I'll, I'll look it up so I, we know what we're talking about here. Just going to look up raw sugar. I don't, I don't know if it's raw or whatever it is, but it's supposed to be good for you. So, well, No, it's not, better not, than the not process. Not as bad for you. The less processing and the less chemicals they put in there, there whatever there. chemical they put in flour to make it white, it can't be good for you. Yeah. Anyway, there's, there's, you know, a, there's a link there. It's, it's there's a link going there. against the natural. Sorry, Graham. So there's a link there for you. Okay. Yeah. It's going against the natural. You know, whenever you go against the natural, you're, you're going the wrong path there. That's just my opinion, but I, I just the more I've learned, the better decisions I make as far as products that I use and everything like that. Yeah. You know, I mean, the, that my the flour right or the sugar I use, Graham, in my coffee looks a lot like that, so I know that I'm using that type of sugar. Yeah. It's it's the brand name's Marina, but it doesn't matter the brand. I mean, yeah, I think the way it is is Florida Crystals. Yeah, and so, um, it, it's up to you. You have you can't let other. The reason I say don't let other make people make your decisions for you is because you have to be your own advocate. No one's looking out for you better than you. All right, right. no government's looking out for you better than you. Your mom and dad ain't looking out for you better than you. You are looking out for you. You are the person that has to look out for you. And you should be making your own decisions and not letting CNN or some other mainstream media or some other fucking big pharma company or some doctor make your decisions for you. No, nope, just you. It's all about right. you. You need to think for you. People need to think for themselves. That it, it, the biggest thing I've taught my kids is think, don't let other people make decisions for you. Right. You know? Don't. Someone says, jump off a fucking bridge. Don't just do it because they told you, no. Think about it first. Think about it. Do I really want to fucking jump off this fucking bridge? <laughs> I don't think that's a smart move. Uh, probably you know? not. No, no, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to, you know, that's what I'm saying. It, you got to take care of yourself. You have to make your own decisions for yourself. Sure, sure. You know, they can tell you that CNH sugar is the best fucking sugar in the world. Guess what? It's it, not. It ain't. It ain't. Because it's processed <laughs> to make it look white. It's yeah. not natural. Whatever they do to make it look white, they they make it take it from its natural state to an unnatural state. Right. You know, it, it's not a good thing. No. It's not. Hey, anyway, let's hear some more music. Flour. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, yeah. Same thing with flour, exactly. I said, let's hear, let's hear some more music. All right, let's do that. All right, we're gonna kick it off here with a um, poxified request. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he claims that it's a good one. He claims that it's it's freakers. Freakers It'll quality. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, here, here it is. Atomic Rooster. All right. Enjoy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So nice. So nice. 
Manish a boy, John Primer and the real deal blues band there. I love that. Hey, she's great. Uh, anyway, before that, we had Haley Reinhardt covering The Kinks' Sunny Afternoon. That's a very stealthy tax protest song. You think it's all about some guy just having a good old time lazing about on a sunny afternoon. Yeah, yeah, that's a tax protest song if I ever heard one. And we kicked it off with the Box 5 request there. Atomic Rooster Breakthrough Take from back in... 1971. So, uh... Cool. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So... Uh, yes? I'm just saying that the motherfucker was an asshole. Yeah. George Sr. was a fucking asshole. He's a yeah. murderer. You know? Yes, he, he was. He was just involved in the JFK thing. He's a, he was a murderer. He was a scumbag. So, we're going to hear all this shit about how great he was. <laughs> and you know what? He wasn't. He no, they're was not. Gonna not. Mention, I guarantee you, they're not going to say that. Well, they might say he was the head of the CIA during a certain time, but they're not going to say... Anything about the JFK thing? They're gonna praise this guy up to the nth degree. It it, it, it seems likely that that's exactly what's gonna happen. We do it all presidents, even if they were pieces of shit murderers. Right. They do it with all of them. You know, I know Obama's gonna be there. Clinton's gonna be there. Oh sure. At the funeral, you know, if you people that think there's a difference between Democrat and Republican, they're all buddies. Right. I mean, you and I talked about this on the figures well many times before. And we showed a picture with all the fucking former presidents that are alive, and they're just all ducking it up. You know? Right. They're laughing because the joke's on us, the people. Right? Sure. Yeah, we got these motherfuckers fucking fooled. <laughs> That's what they're laughing about. They're making... Laughing at you, being a fucking fool for buying into their shit. Their fucking lies, their fucking bullshit. Right. You know, Clinton and fucking Bush Sr. and Bush, uh, the other, it, the idiot, the, the junior Bush, George, George, they all go golfing. They, when, when he wasn't sick before he was 94, they went golfing together and shit. Sure. Same with Obama. And what do they all have in common? Golf. Apparently. Throughout, I mean, the most recent ones do. Maybe not Ronald Reagan. I don't remember him being a golfer. But Obama, Trump, Bushes are golfers. Clinton's right. go a golfer. Right, right. I mean, come on. These guys are buddies. They're going to say, oh, oh, Clinton and Obama are there, and that's, you know, out of respect, even though they're not involved in the same political party. Please, make me want to puke even harder. Right? Right. I mean, come on, people. It's a collusion. It's all a big old fucking agenda and a big old fucking plan. You know, they can't plan for natural disasters, but they when when those do happen, Grim, we've talked about this before, they take full advantage of those. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. They fucking take full advantage of any natural disaster that happens. You know, the earthquake in uh, Anchorage, you can't control an earthquake. You know. Not generally. When that happens. Nope. So, oh, it's a state of emergency now. Yeah. You know, it's just, it, it, like I said earlier, if you want to fucking know the truth and the real deal and what's really going on, all you have to do is start doing some research and looking back into history, watching documentaries if you have to. I'm not saying you have to read books and shit. But you should. 
Oh. <laughs> well, you should read books, but everything out there is on the internet now. The information's out there. Sure is. You just have to want to know it. See, that's the biggest problem. We talked about this before. Is people really, some, for the most part, don't a lot of people don't want to fucking know. Ignorance is bliss for a lot of people, right? Right. They just do what they have to do, even though they don't really like it or don't really. They're just like, oh, that's just the way it is. Right. And they just go along with it. You know, and when I, that's why I hate when people, some people will say, we have allowed them to do this to us. We've let them do this to us. You know, they use a lot of tactics that we don't even know about. Sure. You know, the, a lot of it's ignorance because they want us to be ignorant. You know, so I, I have a problem when people say we let them do this to us. No. Not necessarily. They just do whatever. You know, they start doing the chemtrails and shit. They didn't ask our opinion about it. Not you my know, all of a sudden we start seeing X's in the sky. We're just like, oh, what, that's supposed to be normal? You know, I mean, come on. Well, you people, know, people... The really important shit, they're not going to tell us about it before they do it. They're not going to tell us that when they're spraying for mosquitoes, that's not really what they're spraying for. You know, they're yeah. spraying to fucking poison you. Exactly. Or do whatever to you. They're not nice. You can't think of the government <laughs> as being nice. If you do, you're wrong. All right? Yeah, you're definitely wrong on that. <laughs> oh, God. They do shit without asking your permission. That's the part where I got a problem with people. We let them. How can we control something that they just do? You know, oh, well, then we have to go to court. We have to say, oh, they have to stop this. You know what? They're not going to be honest about the chemtrail thing. This is just an example of one thing, right? Right. They're not going to be honest with you. And if they, if you do find them out and, and have proof, two things will happen. They'll murder you, or their lawyers are better than yours. All right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, well, try to take them on. Well, the, see, the, see, the thing there is, um, it, it's, their, it's their arena. You're going into their arena, and exactly. they have their rules, but they yep. change their rules if they don't like uh, the, the possible outcome. Exactly. So, <laughs> it doesn't matter who's got better lawyers. They run the show. They they made the yep. game up, and they and they created the rules, and those rules are, are subject to change without notice uh, if it's to right. their benefit, whenever it's to yep, their benefit. Because the judges work for them. Right, the whole system Everybody, works for them. It's their system. Works for them. They can do like they did with Ron Paul. Like in the middle of the convention, they changed the rules. How convenient, right? Sure. And that's what turned me off totally. Oh, that's what made me went full anarchy. Oh yeah, they they they, they I do went it all full the time. anarchy at that point. At that moment, I said that's fucking bullshit. They did it on purpose. I'm fucking done. It's the motherfucking government. I am not on their side in any way, she can fucking hard. Right. That was that was it for me. Seriously, that was a seriously defining moment for me. And sure. becoming full on anarchist. Fuck them. You know? Yeah. They oh, change yeah. the rules as they go you know what? That's that's dirty pool. You know? Well that's what they, that's how they operate. Lies and deceit. It's all deception. Exactly. It's all fucking bullshit. It's all blown smoke of your fucking here, here, here's a Here's a little bit of smoke and deception for you. All right. Brace yourselves. A 163% meat tax could be coming. How would meat you, tax. <laughs> oh, my God. How would you like to pay a 163% meat tax every time you want a steak or a burger? What about when you want some bacon with breakfast, or when you're craving a ham sandwich? After much talk, economists and so-called health experts have finally decided what's best for society. No steak for you. 
<laughs> so steak Nazis. Uh, uh, do, do you think you and your family deserve an extra tax for having a steak every now and then? Well, brace yourself, because social taxes are what's for dinner. Social taxes? Social taxes. So re remember when smoking was the only socially engineered target of government yes. health nannies? So then, like, well, it worked for smoking. Let's just tax some more on there. Then fat, then sugar, then caffeine, and now even soda? Yeah, let's just tax some more taxes on every fucking thing. Uh, the American public has been encouraged to gorge themselves on decadent, calorie-rich food for decades. My now God. people are being watched with microscopes and being shamed for doing just that. Or rather, for enjoying themselves occasionally, because who can afford steaks now? After all, you you right. are responsible for other people's health care costs. Yeah. What now? You are re what? I am responsible? No, I'm not. No, I'm not either. <laughs> I don't buy fucking steak, though, because it's true. I can't afford fucking steak every it's, fucking week. I don't buy it. It's, it's like special occasion or something. Yeah, it's I crazy, it's crazy expensive now. It is. It's nuts. Even ground beef is crazy expensive. Anyway. It's over $5 for a one pound of ground beef right now. Well, you can get it cheaper. One fucking pound. You, you can get it for half that, but that's all right. No, you can't. It's yes, not good. Not well, good ground beef. You can get shitty ground beef for less than that, but I always buy the better stuff because I don't fucking... I want the better stuff. I'm not going to eat the shit stuff. Yeah, I hardly buy beef anymore. It's mostly pork and chicken. Yeah, I buy a lot of pork and chicken, too, but, yeah. I mean, I buy, like, beef roast, you know, anyway. too. But those are super expensive now, too. Oh, sure they are, yeah. It's, it's, it's insane. The grocery prices are out of, they're just off the charts right now. I can't even believe it. Like, right, right. I mean, I actually, I think ground beef's not even five bucks. It's like close to five twenty-five a pound. Uh, One need... pound of ground beef is five fucking twenty-five. I mean, my mom used to swear <laughs> by it because it was cheap. You All know? right. Well, we got we got to do our last you set here, hot, but uh, you can make casseroles. I always said hot dogs. You can make casseroles. You can make anything out of ground beef. Tacos, sure. spaghetti. I mean, my mom swore by fucking ground beef, dude. Oh it's yeah. Affordable. Absolutely. Nowadays, it's not. No, it is certainly not. It's like, are you kidding me? I mean, <laughs> what happened? I don't like, know. But we got to oh do we, we we got to do our last set. And, all uh, right. and I, I, yeah, I'm sorry, Graham. That's I, all right. You know, that's all right. Um, the list goes on and on. Yes, it certainly do. There's it's a never-ending thing. Anyway, uh, we we never said anything about Stanley, and um, and he was a no, you know, but but he was a great guy. He he, he get, generated yeah. lots of uh, stuff, entertainment for lots of people, lots of good stories, characters, and such. So uh, Leo Leo Maraccioli. Did his little All tribute right. here to him. Here you go. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Lark and Poe there doing their version of Black Betty at the New York State Blues Fest. Back last June. Uh, yeah, those girls are all right. Anyway, before that was Pink Floyd on the Turning Away, a brand new one from Monroe's Retro. Just came out uh, I don't know, a couple of days ago, I guess. I'm not sure. Maybe it was today. Anyway, uh, before that, Billy Strings for the, again for the Mighty Moose Girl. Little Maggie from the Blue Ox Music Festival last year. And uh, we kicked it off there with a little tribute to Stanley. By Leo Maraccioli, the Spider-Man theme song. Yeah, good stuff. All right, man, women, y'all, all y'all. <laughs> yeah, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Yeah, it's been fun. I had a good time playing oh, the yeah. jams and talking about the stories and chat with the Moose Girl, chat with y'all in the chat, and, yeah. and and all that stuff. All fun. Uh, don't forget, tomorrow at noon Eastern is the Flash Man doing his dark table thing, so tune in for that right here on RLM Radio. And what? My, my sister just went. Oh. Fooey. Fooey. And then on uh, Sunday, I'll be on at noon Eastern here in the, in the chat playing the trivia, 
and three hours worth of blues from noon Eastern to Hal Anthony's lead in there. And he'll be doing the behind the woodshed, opening up the big old can of whoop ass there, getting them yep. crickets to quit sitting there chirping, do something. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and, uh, uh, Flash will be back again around on Tuesday in a perfect world at 1 Eastern. Yes, indeed. Grammy will not be on Wednesday night, but she should be back on Friday night at her normal time, 7 p.m. Right. Eastern. And we'll be back next Friday with more of this fun stuff for y'all. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> you know it. Y'all have a great weekend. Peace. Yeah.